Hi, my name is Amanda Brooks and I am a Client Engagement Manager at Simmons Research. Our team has created a series of short tutorials that will help you navigate through OneView. Today's session, we will focus on creating, exporting, and saving a crosstab. Let's begin. After logging into the Simmons OneView platform, you will automatically default to this screen. Make sure you've got the correct study selected that you want to run your data against. For this example, we are going to take a look at the Winter 2017 NHCS Adult 12-Month Study. On the left side, under the Questions tab, you will find the Data Dictionary. This includes all the questions and answers from the survey. There are approximately 60,000 variables. Once a question has been selected, the answers will populate in this middle box. You can then drag and drop into the columns or the rows. The columns takes a look at the target, or who do you want to know about. And the rows is what do you want to know about your target. This is where you're looking to find your story. You also have the option of selecting a base. If you do not select a base, it will automatically populate to all adults 18 plus. For our example, let's take a look at males and females and what department stores they've shopped at within the past four weeks. Under the Lifestyles folder, Demographics, I find my question marked with a question mark, Gender, and the answers have populated. Now I can drag the answer, drop into the columns, or I can bring it down into the coding box and hit Move to Columns. Now I have my target, male and female, and the sample and the weighted have populated. Now I need my department store information. If you go under the shopping folder, department stores, if you hover it says purchase last four weeks and all of the stores will populate. I can cherry pick stores and drag them into the rows or by dragging this entire question over, all of the stores will populate. Now that I have my target, information and what do I want to know about them, I'm ready to run the cross tab. Hit cross tab. Now here is your output. So you have the cross tab view, private eye view, and trend. Trend will be reviewed in a later tutorial. I'm going to take a look at the cross tab view and export it. It will give you options on what format you want to export. I'm going to leave it at the Excel and hit export. The file is down downloaded and I'm able to open it. If you hit Enable Edit at the top, you can make changes, and now I can view my crosstab. Let's take a look at the private eye view. Select private eye. This view allows you to use as a sort and filter options within Excel to look at the data. Let's take a look. The difference is that it breaks the variables out as subcolumns, which is why you're able to sort and filter. Now that we've created a crosstab, Let's look at how to save it. If you go back into this blue edit bar, up here you can name your cross tab and hit save. If you want to open the cross tab, hit open, select the cross tab, load, and your column and row information will be there. This is the end of the training session and I hope you found it helpful. Thank you.